Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for the Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising for the second quarter of the year 2018. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, thank you for the wonderful supports, the likes and shares. Um, thank you for um, the beautiful support that you guys have been um, supporting my channel thank you so so very much um, this um, second quarter is just so um, it's the energy of the, the fire energy the, the passion is as if you have to find inner um, strength um, to move forward and this is going to be good um, whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring whatever is happening um, you have to find like a passion you have to find the inner like a um, passion to move forward okay so um, it is the energy of movement transformation it's the energy of you moving towards something okay I the your best month is going to be um, the month of May okay your best month is going to be the month of May because um, this is a weird quarter for you Capricorns I you know um, Saturn is in your planet and I can really see it in the energy vibration reading especially in this second quarter because um, you have strength so um, the energy of strength is that you are going to go within to find the last drop of strength and you need to call upon your angels and guides in this quarter your best month is going to be May a lot of May is a very lucky month for a lot of people okay um, the energy of um, April is going to be different because you have um, the energy of strength the energy of strength comes up and um, when um, it's either that so many things are happening with you that you're trying to find strength to work out all of these it's as if time is running out and you need to find the strength to work out all of these that sort of a thing okay so let's look and see what is happening because you have the energy of strength in the month of april you have um, a sort of a planning this is coming up for a lot of sign um, the number nine energy where you are looking inwards and you're trying to plan your way forward you're looking inwards and you're trying to plan your way forward because it could be finding this inner strength is that so many things is happening around you and you're trying to um, plan your yourself forward and that is an water energy so it's a kind of emotional energy in a month of May which is going to be one of your best month of this quarter um, you have the energy of the Empress your own energy vibration that comes up so haha ha, wonderful because um, you you have lost whatever the 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 zits that you have the zest that you have and finally now in May um, you're you whatever you need to survive is going to be balanced out so that means um, that you are going to be feeling yourself again in the month of May okay because this it has been really really um, this the year that has started for you guys because um, this is 2017 that you're vibrating in because you just finished 2006 and this is 2017 at the end of the year for the people who were born um, at the end of the year that is when your new year of 2018 so you're still going through the energy of 2017 okay um, this is a balance but this is an earth sign so this is good so whatever is tr is happening in the month of uh, June um, here is where in June you're balancing out certain situation and certain aspect okay so you're balancing out certain situation and certain aspects so <laughs> a card flipped out I've been having this uh, that you know the cards are 
um, eight of coins so this is good so this is one of my questions and let let me make sure that I see that is the eight of coin because this is this was one of my question the eight of coins is here so it is good um, I was wondering because you have to find inner strength so it's because you're working so hard and you're finding inner strength to kind of fi finish out things because I was kind of worried that the energy of inner strength for the second um, quarters but this second quarter the energy of inner strength is that the eight of coins you're working very hard so um, here you are in the month of April and you're thinking about how you're going to plan your way forward is this as if um, you're trying to get everything together and see what's the best way of dealing with it this is as if you have a lot of work and you are trying to plan out this work because obviously you have a lot of work and you're trying to plan out this work whatever it is um, you know you're going to be doing well at it because it's going to bring you a lot of financial abundance so uh, haha that is really good let's see what is going to transpire in the second week um, going on to the two first week of June so end of May going to the two first week of June what is going to be happening for you you have the energy of the Emperor oh this is wonderful so there is a lot of success and achievement there's a lot of um, working hard and by working hard you're going to be very successful so this is good by working hard you're going to be extremely successful and this success is going to bring you balance and um, a balance uh, the success is going to bring you balance but it's also um, going to bring you a positive um, movement forward in your life and this is going to be extremely good so um, this is wonderful because I was I was where I was really 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 worried about you guys when I saw um, um, your energy vibration I was just absolutely um, worried very worried but it is that you're trying to find the inner strength um, to how um, as, as if um, you're working so hard and you're finding the inner strength you know because um, by working so hard it's going to bring you um, a lot of wonderful um, um, positive new situations in your life so thank God for that because you have um, uh, you're planning your way forward and by planning your way forward you have you're working very hard and that is going to bring you a lot of success and with the success that is coming in it's going to bring your materialistic uh, um, whatever you need to survive whatever you need to move forward um, it's going to bring you and uh, that because money your your financial situation um, you know what whatever that you have been asking for whatever that you've been working forward in your life is going to bring success to a lot of you and it's going to bring stability to a lot of you um, and this is going to be good um, there is something else let's see the end then the night of coins so this is wonderful the energy of the night of coins is that it, it, it's 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 slow coming but you're working at it you know it's not as if you're giving up which is good night of coins which is very very good so the outcomes is a positive outcomes for um, the people 18 um, uh, 18 years old until 40 it's going to be a positive positive um, quarter for you guys because here you are seeing that you're you're really working towards something because you want to achieve something in your life and you're working very hard at it and it's going to be wonderful so as I look at this um, and the month of April is going to be a month of you planning you're finding in a strength you're planning you're working very hard and you're you know you're hitting the mark okay so you're hitting the mark with everything that you do you're hitting the mark if you're going 
um, for like okay uh, you have your home business and you want to make 10,000 you're hitting the mark you're making that 10,000 you know and this is good because um, there is a, a, a lot of movement and this is it when you're going for something and you're hitting the mark because here you are and you're focusing at what you want and you you're going for what you want and you're going to achieve that because by you focus and and trying to focus and hit your mark you're you're going to receive a lot of success and recognition a lot of success and recognition is going to come in at the end of May and the beginning of June a lot of success and recognition but with the success and recognition you need to understand it you need um, to um, uh, um, you know balance it out you know say thank you and still be nice and don't say thank you and still be nice and don't overdo it you know um, um, really really um, uh, you know try and be just simple just say thank you and uh, um, accept um, the recognition that comes in for you and um, the success that comes in for you as we look at um, this um, month of May which is a positive month um, um, what is going to happen is that by you working hard it's going to bring you um, a sort of a awareness that um, hard work is not going to kill you it actually makes you stronger and it actually gives you a good stability in your life and this actually also bring you a sense of uh, um, value in your life and this is going to be good because um, you're going to realize that everything that you focus on and everything that you have um, um, that that you hold and focus for and will attract it in your life is going to come in and this is going to be good it's going to be very good okay so um, it's actually a plain it's actually a, a, a very plain cut because um, you can see the, the <laughs> I don't know I have been having this people that the energies um, that the energies are coming in um, that is just springing out so it's it's a clear cut um, reading I, there, there is no question about this reading this is really um, saying exactly um, what is happening in this reading so um, there is no you know question about what I'm seeing a sense of a defeat for some people who have felt defeat you 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 don't have to worry anymore because um, you are going to get over the sense of defeat okay not um, release yourself as you know um, with the sense of defeat so let's see what is happening because we have the defeat so you're going on a new journey um, oppositions you know and uh, um, it's gonna be good the ten of cups so this is wonderful and this is positive so um, and I still don't believe as the five of swords is a defeat I don't see um, the five of swords as a defeat um, in this card it can be a defeat because they're crucifying this man on the tree and there are four other persons um, at the bottom and you are the one that they're crucifying so and this energy is it can be a defeat that you know um, you have been defeat 
um, because there is a more people that is really going after you but with this appeal um, defeat you are going to move forward on your life maybe it was a defeat in the past and you're going to fool move forward in your life whatever that um, the opposition that you had to work against which we're going to um, be looking at at the end of the day um, there is going to be the ten of cups a happy outcomes and this is going to be good so the obstacles and the defeat that you have in the past you're going to be on a new journey and with this new journey that you are about to go on there is going to be opposition but at the end of the time it's going to be the ten of cups so you're going to be okay okay so there is going to be a good outcomes of this so um, not to worry really 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 not to worry because um, whatever that and however way you thought that um, there was a defeat and you have a sense of defeat and you're feeling a sense of defeat and not to worry because the ten of cups energy is going to be good I was guided to go back and look at what is the energy of the hermit uh, and the energy oh there was another message that I was supposed to say to you guys um, if you have a, um, a father and mother um, your mother is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and your father is a um, Aries Leo or um, Sagittarian there is going to be a situation where you need to find in a strength with this person balance you need to balance out certain things so let's look and see what is happening um, the energy of the hermit with the Empress what is that all about it's all about um, the five of ones it's all about conflicts so whatever the conflicts was it is now over okay whatever the conflict was because now um, we're seeing the energy of the feet so whatever the conflicts now was and is it's now over and then the delusions is now cleared up whatever the delusion was it is now clear up okay as we look and see with the the you're thinking very hard and you're planning and you're working hard what is the sense that comes in um, the the king of cup is in the reverse form so um, um, this is this is a situation where um, if some of you had a situation with um, um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, now the situation is um, it's as if um, you're working so hard and trying to balance out and bring things that you're no longer so focused on that you know as if if you were uh, in a relationship or um, if this person was a part of your life or it's all about um, you working towards something so let's see what Empress and Temperance is saying to us so it's <laughs> An energy of M M, the Empress and Temperance is saying to you that you need to balance out your work life and your own life. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that in the month of April, um, April going into May, um, you be working so hard that your relationship is not going to be there is. You know you're going to be so focused on your work that no relationship your relationship so if you know you are having a relationship with um, a Pisces cancer or scorpion you're going to realize that you're working so hard that um, you have no time to focus on your relationship um, but as it comes to the end of May um, May June you are going to be connected and this is going to be wonderful because um, the energy of love is going to be coming back okay so um, you're going to learn to balance out what is transpire um, for uh, also some people out there um, in the month of May June end of May 
um, beginning of June um, you're going to have a relationship with um, your parents and you're going to um, there is a wedding that is coming up some of you are going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmate end of May beginning of June so be aware of this some people are going to be going to a lot of weddings um, end of May beginning of and in the month of June okay um, let's see what is happening um, with you working hard to be to have a success to get a success yes and you're going to become the star so um, this is good it's, it's a very very positive um, reading um, I thought it was a clear-cut reading but I was um, guided back um, to look at it again uh, it is now clear-cut it is now good it is now um, positive because you end up with the energy of the star because you 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 um, you had your eyes on what it is that you want and you go for it and you your wishes and dreams are going to come through a lot of success this is another way of saying that you're going to be very successful there is going to be a lot of um, uh, achievement uh, success that is coming in for you a lot of achievement and that sort of a thing um, um, a lot of recognition I'm seeing for um, a lot of people coming in um, whoever you are out there um, whenever these things happen because um, a lot of people had their high on something and, and and they're going to make sure their dreams come true and whenever this happened remember the people who have been alongside you on the way okay and so remember those people and um, um, you know keep that in mind uh, a lot of people are going to meet their soulmate and twin flame again um, end of May beginning of June a lot of weddings I see a lot of people going to weddings in the month of June and May your outcomes is the energy of the star because you really focus on what you wanted and you bring it into reality and this is good okay so let's look and see what is happening in the um, energy of love for the ladies over the age of 40 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 okay um the ladies over the age of 40 is going to connect with um, someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, whatever and whoever this person is this person is um, financial stability <laughs> is a very very um, you're gonna connect with an extremely um, someone who has money and um, this person is going to open up doors of opportunities for you which is very good um, a lot of you if you were looking for a rich guy it's gonna happen um, in this quarter when it's going to happen it can take place in the month of May for some people or the month of June okay so um, some of you are going to be meeting this person it is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is someone younger than you are but is someone with a whole lot of money go for it yes I did say that and your financial um, situation is going to be good also for the latest over 40 of the nine of Pentacles and the ace of Pentacles your financial situation is going to be good so in love um, you ladies over 40 are going to meet someone who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this person is a little bit younger than you are but they have a lot of money this rich guy so let's say you were um, wanting to manifest a rich guy in your life it is happening we're looking for the men um, over 40 what is going to be happening for 
the men over 40 okay all right uh, I don't know um, there's a lot of earth sign people who are coming up with this energy a lot of earth sign people um, okay one your relationships are good if you are having relationships with the earth sign hurt sign and uh, um, it's good for the people who are having a relationship with um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian whether it's a same-sex relationship or not there's going to be heartbreak so if you are in a relationship with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian um, you're going to have an heartbreak three of swords heartbreak for the rest of the people who are having relationships it's going to be a very very positive happy happy relationships um, good connection good things are happening okay let's look at the people who are 18 between the ages of 18 and 40 to see what is happening so this is for the people who are between the ages of 18 and 40 for love the Capricorns let's see what is happening for the Capricorns let's see what's happening for the Capricorns age 18 okay it's a relationship um, there's a lot of communication that is going to happen um, the people between the ages of 18 and 40 whether a man or a woman there's a lot of relationship a lot of communication that is going to be happening in a relationship and it's going to be about money it's going to be about money but um, there is going to be a balance and let's say that there was a lawsuit um, uh, let's say that something of injustice had happened and there's a lawsuit a lot of money you're going to be um, uh, or a divorce this is information communication because there's like a divorce so um, because the energy of um, um, here you have the energy of um, the judge the justice the jury um, you are going to be um, coming out of this divorce or whatever it is um, very rich whatever that has transpired whatever that has transpired you're going to come out of this being very very rich information is going to be coming in about money and um, it is the eight of um, you are working and some of you are um, going to be working on relationships and um, as, as if you want like someone says okay I want to get out of this relationship and this could be that you're dealing with someone who is um, uh, a Aquarians a Libra or a Sagittarius an Aquarius Libra or a Sagittarius and um, some of you want to get out of this relationship and for the rest of the people you're working hard in your relationship and you're trying to bring balance in your relationship and this is going to be good okay but some of you are having a relationship with some um, Aquarians Gemini um, and um, Libra and you want to get out of this relationship okay you it's as if um, it's a lost cause okay <laughs> so um, that was it for you Capricorns I'm hoping and wishing um, a wonderful I'm hoping and wishing for a wonderful wonderful um, beginning for you guys and a lot of success in your life and I want to say to you um, please like share these videos thumbs up and namaste until next time